Hi, hi, how are you all? Glad to see you again. Today we will talk about Chebyshev's theorem and empirical rule. I'll share with you two worked out examples. I'll share my screen with you. <clears throat> Application of Chebyshev's theorem and the empirical rule. Problem, the average full-time faculty member in a work college works an average of 53 hours per week. Assume the standard deviation is 2.8 hours. If we do not assume any particular shape of the distribution of work hours of the full-time faculty members, then what percentage of the faculty members work more than 58.6 hours per week? Answer, Chebyshev's theorem can be applied to any distribution regardless of its shape, regardless of its shape, okay? According to Chebyshev's theorem, at least 75% of the data fall within two standard deviations from the mean. What that means is two standard deviation on the right of the mean and two standard deviation on the left of the mean, okay? So at least 75% of the data fall within two standard deviation from the mean on the left of the mean and on the right of the mean. Two standard deviation on the left of the mean and two standard deviations on the right of the mean. Thus, at most, 100% minus 75% which is equal to 25% fall beyond the two standard deviations from the mean. Now for this problem, two standard deviations is two multiplied by standard deviation is 2.8 is 5.6. So we find that two limits, mu plus two sigma is 53 plus 5.6 is equal to 58.6 and mu minus two sigma is 53 minus 5.6, which is 47.4. Hence, at most 25% of the data fall above 58.6 hours and below 47.4 hours. Why? Because at least 75% of the data fall between 47.4 and 58.6 hours. So what is left from 100%, 100 minus 75 is 25. So at most 25% fall above 58.6 or below 47.4. Now we are interested only in the percentage above 58.6. So we divide that 25 into two equal parts and we get to say at least or at the most 25% divided by two is 12.5% of the data at the most will fall above 58.6. Why 12.5? Because we divide the number 25% into two equal parts. Since it is at least 75% in the center, two standard deviation on the left and two standard deviation on the right, what is left on the two edges that is below 47.4 and above 58.6 is at the most 25%. Then I divided them into two equal parts. So above 58.6 is only 12.5% at the most. Now let's take a look at the empirical rule, okay? Empirical rule applies only to bell shaped distribution, okay? Same uh, problem, only in part B, we are assuming a bell shaped distribution. And what percentage of faculty members work more than 58.6 hours? The empirical rule applies to bell shaped distribution. According to empirical rule, approximately 95% of the data fall within two standard deviations from the mean. That is you go two standard deviation on the right of the mean and two standard deviation on the left of the mean. And the entire area is approximately 95% within two standard deviation. Again, we know the two limits of the two standard deviation. The lower limit is 47.4 and the upper limit is 58.6. And between those two limits, approximately 95% of the data will fall. So what is left in the two edges or in the two tails is 100 minus 95%, which is 
Hence, approximately 5% of the data will fall above 58.6 hours and below 47.4 hours. So we are only interested in finding the amount of data above 58.6. So we will take the two, the 5% in the two tails in the right and in the left and divide it into two equal parts. That is approximately 2.5% of the data will fall above 58.6 hours, okay? So that's the answer to this part for empirical rule. If you like my videos, uh, please subscribe to this channel. I will be posting solutions to different statistical problems every week so that you can come back and look at some of the solved problems. And I look forward to seeing you next time, okay? Bye.